morning or good afternoon or good evening or whatever time you are watching this. I hope you are awake when you're watching this. And this is Tuesday Tips with me, Bob Strachan. And uh, last week we talked about this thumb. And this week we're going to talk about this thumb. And so it's going to be all thumbs today. So, you know, we can do all these kind of things. Woo! There we go. All the thumbs. And it's back together. Well, hey, cool. Anyway. A lot of people ask me about thumbs. And this is cool. So last week we talked about... We talked about using this thumb as a bit of a... Things like that. So... You could do movie theme tunes. So you can do that. You know, you could say, I can use my thumb. I can play that. That's pretty cool. All right. All right. So this week, we're going to talk about this thumb. So I'm going to talk about using this thumb as picking. Uh, and if you like doing a bass walk with it or, or just doing some bass things. Now, we can do some pretty cool strumming, you know. And strumming, strumming patterns are great. But using this thumb, we can alternate uh, the bass notes. And, uh, I mean, it's probably the easiest thing we do in an E. Because you don't have to do anything with your left hand. And what I'm doing here, you can see. All I'm doing is playing the E and the A strings together, and we've got this, this, uh, this up and down bass. That can... And say with A... So that's really easy to do, and you're just using, you're just you're just strumming with these fingers and and uh, picking the bass. And then what I've also got is my hand is muted, uh, muting the strings here. I mean, you can it doesn't quite sound the same. You can do it without the muting, but if you rest your hand, right, right here, so so you've got a bit of a mute, and then you add in the the other it's like a percussion train so you got your train kind of picking here you give that a try give that a practice it's it's really it's, it might but all you're doing is just alternating pick strum pick strum but if you put your hand here uh, and mute right here just stick it right up against where your where your um your pegs are there and you could you've got that all right it shouldn't be muted where you're going to do that. So if you just sit there, all you're trying to do is just mute a little bit. And then you give a little bit of a strum. And that gives you that kind of train. You get a bit of contrast, you can lift your hand off. Right, so that's that's a really cool thing you can do with with this thumb. Now, um, then the other thing that I, that I did at the beginning was I walked up the bass. Now, again, you're using your thumb again, so so we've got that. Do it slowly. You know, ready? Okay, so with as you're doing your picking, then you can come up. And with your on your E string, your little E string here, all we're going to do is play the second fret and the third fret, and then go up to A. So, and come back down again. Okay, going up again, second fret, third fret. You don't have to lose your rhythm. And you can do the same thing for the, the B. But it's first and second fret, so you're playing a, a B seventh here. So you can obviously you think you think when you hear that you think Johnny Cash. So that's one thing. But this this, this thumb is great for for bass. And then we can go into other pickers where we'll go for a C chord. Now this is this is not as easy because you're going to have to alternate uh, and play with uh, with your third finger here. Okay, so we're going to play a C, and then we're going to play the G. All right. So you can start off you you know obviously you know your C chord, 
But if you just start off with the muting, uh, just have, lay your hand there, or even if you don't, it's not a problem. It's however you feel that the song will go. And you're just trying to get that rhythm. Right, it's going from C to G. And remember that walking up we did with the, with the E? Well, we're just going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it on, on the A string. All right? But we're going to start on G. So third fret. Okay, and the sixth string here on the E string. So. All right, so that's just a nice little walk up. Same kind of pattern we can use. And it gives us a bit more flavor. Now we're going to go out to... F to F, doing the same pattern, but just a string up, down again, C, G, C, G, C, G, and then now we can walk down to G, actually. But this time when we're doing, we're still picking the fifth and sixth strings here, but our bass note, our, our root note is G here, and then we're, um, you know, so we're going, and then the second fret, so first finger, uh, second fret, uh, there, so you're playing a G, but you're just doing these, okay? And then we can add in some picking. And walk it up. And down. Walk up again. Up to F. bluegrass fill in there uh, which is it's quite a simple one to do it's a very common bluegrass fill basically you're starting on your root note here G and then you're sliding up with your first finger okay so 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 play the G and then you're gonna play the open string the A string All right so so then you hammer on on the first fret with your first finger right and then slide it up right all right, then we're going to do another hammer on, 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 on here, on this string, on the D string here. All right, but this one's a little difficult because you're not only going to hammer on, you're going to pull off. And then you play the open G string. Okay, so we'll go through that again just quickly uh, on the G. And then you're going to hammer on and slide. And then on the D string, you're going to hammer and pull off. And it's really, it's really neat. All right, and that, that you'll find that throughout bluegrass music in a lot of country. It's a nice way to end it, but uh, it's a good one for the, for the picking. You know, because we can just go to... cool but if we want it's it's a little nice a little nicer if we add the bass because then we don't have to pay the bass player <laughs> and all I'm doing is walking up and then the A minor now the classic transition to D So those are those are some little things with your thumb, but play around with your thumb um, because there's all kinds of cool things you can do with your thumb and just practice the different uh, bass notes. It's, it's not that difficult to do once you get into the rhythm of it, uh, and you're just kind of alternating. Uh, obviously, you can you can just strum. You can do a kind of percussion train sound. Ooh. I prefer E for that. Um, but then you can start in with your picking as well. But, um, you know, you can sound, it's very easy to, to do some of these. Uh, it just takes practice. Um, and once you've got it, you're, you're there. And then just, you know, I, I sometimes use my little finger here.
And what I'm doing here is it's just an alternate G shape. It's a G chord, but I'm just playing the F. Same shape up there, you know? And again, last week's one, we can do our thumb. So those are those are some things. I'm not get into too many details because I like to keep these videos kind of short. But play around with your thumb. It's a great thing to to do and gives a bit more um, interesting uh, contrast to your your picking, especially if you're playing country or folk. And I mean, even if you're not playing other things, you can still use your. You know, if you're going to play a nice country waltz. And uh, maybe in the next couple of weeks, we'll look in adding the melody into it as well. So, you know, there's that one of one of my favorite songs to play. I'll give you I'll give you a little bit of demo on this, and I'll maybe teach you how to play it some other time. But uh, we can start. It's called the Sweet By and By. It's an old hymn. And we can strum it. But we can add the bass to it. And then we can also add the melody. So this is just practice. You know, a lot of people say, you know, about, about these things. Guitar is not so much difficult if we put in the right practice, if we practice the right things and make sure we do it, um, you know, and, and commit the time to it. It becomes quite easy. Uh, and that's certainly been my experience. I've seen a lot of people progress a lot quicker than I did just because they, they put in the practice and they, they just learned. Uh, and and it's a, I think it's a, also about a mental attitude as well, saying, you know, this that can be done. Uh, I remember when I started playing, I was like, oh, man, I would I'd love to play like that. And then I got tabs and, and I learned to play the entertainer and things like that. And people are like, oh, man, that's amazing. Well, it's it's more just about practicing and learning where where things go and, and memorizing these things. So you can do it. I think anybody can play the guitar. If we just have the right mindset about it, saying, you know what, if I put in the practice, I'll get there. And sure, it might be difficult at first. There might be some things that we, we have problems with. We might struggle to get our fingers around. Our fingers might get sore, especially playing a steel string uh, and things like that. So some people start with the, with the nylon, the, the gut strings or a smaller guitar. But as we come, these are, are simple things that we can improve our guitar playing just by adding thumbs. Or it's, it's not anything more complicated. We're not learning any new tab. We're just learning about, you know, roots and basses and things like that and just walking up the scale. How many country songs have you heard that start with? Right? And, and oftentimes it's played on the bass. Now, you know, I love bass players and they play some amazing bass lines. Um, you know, but this is something if you don't have a bass player and you're playing your own, especially going to a folk club or an open mic night, then, you know, can add that to you. So you've got that going. You can add some flavor. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you get anything you want to, to, to learn or something that I can cover, please do shoot me a message. Uh, I'd be glad to, to do it. I know there's a lot of guitar stuff out there on YouTube uh, and a lot of people that, that teach things. I just wouldn't have fun here uh, and just teach some things that, that I do. Uh, maybe saying it in a different way will help you. Um, and I know there's some great guitar teachers and I'm not trying to, to be or to take anything away from any of them. Uh, and there's lots of stuff that I've learned on YouTube as well, which is really cool. But I just want to have a bit of fun and uh, teach you some tricks that I do. And I hope you enjoy these. And, uh, you know, give me a subscribe and a like and a comment. Uh, it would be great. And uh, check out the website, uh, Bob Strachan Music uh, as well. And, um, you know, like I said, if you've got anything that you want to learn or anything that uh, you've seen me do that you say, OK, I, I want to learn how to do that. 
cool my lap for that that's what it's all about and if you like these strings these are actually eric clapton signature uh, strings that I've just put on the Martin guitar. Martin, uh, Eric Clapton signature. You know, it's not in any way sponsored by that, but if they are watching, then it wouldn't hurt a new set of strings. <laughs> right, guys, have a great day, and I'll catch you next week. Cheers. Let's play this out, anyway.